I would definitely say that the gene elevated the profile and, and the reputation of the university by virtue of the kind of man he is. One of the contributions that Gene made was making friends. Friends for the university, friends for the state, getting people to realize what a wonderful state New Hampshire is and that one of its special features is its higher educational system. He really was um, a legend in the admissions business. And I think that the fruits of his labor uh, are so obvious when you look at alumni that uh, came through the university in those days. And I was the first to ever go to high school, let alone college, and uh, there were many challenges. And uh, Gene wanted to know a lot about, uh, you know, why am I going to the university? What am I looking for in the university? Uh, about my family, how supportive they are. He really said a lot of great things about the university and about higher education and how important that is to my future. I really met a friend right away and someone who was interested in me as an individual. My dad did admit me to UNH. He was director of admissions at the time. I remember just really sweating it out over whether or not I was going to get in. I had applied early decision and I remember thinking, oh my gosh, what if I don't get in? <laughs> I walked in one day and there was the letter propped up in the kitchen and, and I ripped it open and I, I looked at it and it said congratulations and, and then I read down on, on the letter where he signed you know, thousands of these, Eugene A. Savage, and it said sincerely dad. So that was pretty cool and I still have that letter. Stan Fish, who was Associate Director of Admissions when I started, he said something that I, I think is really true of Gene, and that is that Gene uh, sees the world as full of, of good and interesting people, and he is just tremendously eager to meet as many of them as he can. When I think of my dad, I think of just the quintessential people person. It's a joke in our family that wherever you go, wherever we travel to, he'll know someone. One of the first times that he met my husband, we went out to dinner in the North End in Boston, and we went to Mike's Pastries for a dessert afterwards. And the place was completely crowded and mobbed, and there were no tables or anything. And when we walked in the door, some man said, oh, and this table's reserved for Gene Savage. And it was so crowded, we couldn't see even the man who did it. And, and he walked up and walked out the door, and, and Dad was just like, what just happened? But so things like that happen, that people just know him and really appreciate him and um, give up their table at Mike's Pastries for. <laughs> I don't think I'd be here without Gene. And Gene took time out of his schedule to always provide great mentorship. Even after I graduated from the University of New Hampshire, I'd stay in touch with him and discuss with him about uh, some challenges and what he thought. Uh, I really put a lot of credibility in his opinion. I still deal with Gene Savage. Uh, when there's a challenge or a question that I have uh, that uh, requires a real New Hampshire point of view, one of the top few people that I call is Gene Savage and I don't think I'm alone. I just would really like to thank my dad for being such a great role model and being such a great dad. I can't thank him enough for all that he's done for me and uh, my son is a senior this year in college and I can't thank him enough for everything and the role model he's been for, for him as well. Gene's friendship is one that I will always treasure because he's a true friend. He doesn't forget people, he remembers, and he keeps in touch. I would like to say to Gene, congratulations. We love you. Thank you for all the things you've done for the students, and especially for us. I just want to say thank you, Gene, for uh, all that you've given me, all the years that I worked with you, but even more than that, all the years that I've known you since that time. You mean the world to me. I could go on and on thanking Gene for everything that he's done for the university as an institution, for students uh, whose lives have been changed because of the guidance that he provided them, and for the state of New Hampshire, uh, what he has done to help make the state a better place. But mostly what I'd like to say to Gene today is thank you for your friendship. Uh, it means a great deal and it has made me a better person. Uh, to be a friend of Gene and Joan Savage.